pan-roasted turchetta. Let's talk about uh, the, the have, you, have you had porchetta, right? You've had porchetta? Yeah. You're a porchetta fan? So I want to make turchetta. I, it's Thanksgiving time. I don't want to make, I'd love to have some porchetta right now. But I'm going to make turchetta. So I've got this beautiful turkey breast skin on. And what I'm going to do is make a rub for the inside of it. And then kind of pull the skin back and right. Well, you'll see how this is going to go together. So excuse me, like kind of working amongst giants. Um, we're going to get, yeah, no kidding. Get a little bit of garlic. Um, a little sage, a little fresh sage. You want to pull me some rosemary? rosemary? So we drop that in, Desk. There. But anyhow, here, I'll give you this, Desk. You start. I get to do it? Oh, yeah. Let me throw some fennel in there. This is awesome. This is really great. I mean, I love having Hunter here to help me, but I got four people that know way more than he is. Okay. Uh, yeah, a little... Uh, oh, now you're just ad-libbing? Uh, you're just going to start throwing in? That's how Ryder does it. He stands on the I'm step like, and I does i got to get some height up All right, some fennel seed, a little chili flake, some salt, some pepper, some garlic, some sage. Uh, and you know what? Let's start working that out. And who took the Oh, there's the olive oil. You got it? I got it. Fantastic. So back to this whole porchetta thing. You've had porchetta? Yes. You've had porchetta? I love porchetta. Okay. So porchetta is where you take the pork loin, you wrap it in the belly. So basically you're wrapping it in all this bacon. Uh, and then you roast it off and you get this nice crackling on the outside of it. So you get tender meat, you get juicy fat. Well, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it with a turkey breast. So the bone is out, but the skin is on. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of peel a little bit of this skin away. Because what I don't want to do is roll the skin into the turkey. Okay? How are we doing on my great rub, by the way? You got it? Got it. Fantastic. While Dusky does that, I'm going to show you this little butterflying method on this turkey breast. So now what happens is I'm butterflying this open. And that's just so I can get all these nooks and crannies in here filled with a little bit of this great rub. Okay, so I'll butterfly into that. Don't want to pierce through the skin. Okay, there we go. So now we'll drop this in. So the rosemary, the thyme, a little sage, the garlic, the salt, the pepper, okay? There we go. Here, babe. Smear this all inside of it. And this is like we're doing a real porchetta, but we're doing it with the turkey, okay? Get a little bit of salt, a little extra pepper, just a touch. There we go. Now, this is the side that has the skin connected, so I'm gonna roll from here. Uh, Dust, could you find me some twine? It's around here somewhere. Look at this. Over the top, over the top into itself, and then I bring the skin with it, okay? So it's all wrapped in the skin. There we go. Dust, you want to come underneath that with a, with a loop, but right up here in the center of the top of the breast, okay? Got it. You want to tie it or you want me to tie it? I'll tie it. Let's talk about turchetta. Turchetta has got some thyme in there. It's got some sage, some garlic, some salt, and some pepper. So, onto the skin. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so I'll put a little sear on this all the way around, then go to the oven with it. So there's no bone in this, but we kept the skin, did a nice job trussing it. What do you think of that? Dude, that is golden. That and is gorgeous. Beautiful. Welcome. Watch out, coming through. Hot, hot. Oh, that's gonna rock. And here comes Roxy the dog. She's just looking for some pickup. Um, but I got to hit a little chicken stock in here because I'm making a little pan jus. Uh, but this turchetta, talk about a fantastic piece. Typically, it's, you know, I have a bunch of folks hey, over here. Did you, uh, oh, did you... oh, 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 he returns. What's up, bub? How are you? How are you? So my son Hunter has been off at school at UNLV where I went to college. And uh, he returns in time. Fantastic. Take that, slice it up. I'll be at the table. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Hunter, this is a beautiful turchetta falling in the form of porchetta, and I trust it. So here we go, Hunter. This is all skin. This is all white meat. There's a platter right back there, if you wouldn't mind grabbing that for me. Truss this up really nice so this cooks even. So it cooks evenly. I think I might have trussed it with a little extra twine. I don't, last thing I want to do is serve somebody a big piece of twine. Okay, looking good. What do you think? There we go. Nice slices. I mean, you know how people all fight for that. I want the breast, I want the white meat. This is it, baby. This is all white meat, and you're just looking at some fantastic color inside of this. Do we have to serve it, or can we just eat it over here? I like Now they're standing there waiting for me. I can see them. They sound like, they sound like our dogs were ready to feed them. <laughs> These guys are sitting over there so hungry. And what a star-studded cast of chefs to have show up. 
G. Garvin coming all the way from Atlanta. Dusky traveling all the way from Sebastopol. What was that? Solid 15 minute drive. Solid 15 minutes yeah. all the way here. The way. Okay, Hunter, lift her up. Watch yourself. Oh, this is gorgeous. That turned out just perfect. Look at that shingle out like that. And last thing I got here, Bubba, hold tight, is I deglazed that pan with just a little bit. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> little bit of chicken stock right over the top. I won't get you, I don't think. Oh, that's a little hot. Was it a little warm? A little bit. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, son, stand over with the chefs. Let's right. deliver this to the table. They're gonna love this.